Today we are going to talk about accounting for discounts and VAT. Okay, and um, if you look on the screen, you can see the lecture outcomes, basically what we want to achieve today. And the first one is to understand the types of discounts and how to calculate them. So you're going to discuss about different types of discounts. Then also, um, we'll have a brief overview of uh, the VAT and um, how to carry out basic VAT calculation. Also, we want you to be able to um, calculate, look at um, calculating VAT when settlement discounts are involved, as well as calculating VAT from the gross amount. Finally, we want you to be able to post discounts and VAT transactions in the general ledger. Okay. Um, okay, hold on, Ben. Uh, I'll just try and sort you out in a minute. What we're going to do now is um, to first of all have a look at the different types of discounts. Okay, now this subject of study is relevant to A80 level two processing bookkeeping transactions. Now, when we talk about discounts, Basically, we are referring to reduction in selling prices given by the seller to the buyer. So, um, when there, there, there are different reasons why a seller may want to give discounts, but basically, um, in effect, what it does is the seller reduces the price that is offered to the buyer. Okay. And the first one is what we call the trade discount, okay, which basically refers to um, discounts that are given by the seller to his regular customers, okay. Now, this is where there is an existing relationship between the seller and the buyer, and as of that, because of the as, as a result of the history, okay. Um, the, the, the seller just gives a discount for the customer's loyalty. Okay. Um, the other one is the bulk discount, which is discounts given uh, to customers who buy in bulk, basically, in you know, for large purchases. Finally, we have the settlement discounts, which is early payment discount okay, given to buyers. Uh, to basically induce them to pay early okay so these are the three main ones that you need to know okay and um finally the vat is a government tax okay that is uh basically ch charged on consumer goods okay and the standard rate of a vat is 20 percent all right so this is just the foundation and we're going to move on um, to look at how you can calculate discounts okay and um, there there are two fundamental ways to do that now the trade and bulk discounts basically in terms of calculation are done differently from the settlement discount and the trade and bulk discounts are quite straightforward um, but when it comes to the settlement discounts, you need to be able to factor in a few things. So, as you can see on the top of this screen here, uh, I've put the, a basic formula for calculating the, the, the discounts and um, adding your VAT on top of that. What you need to do is, first of all, to find out what the initial amount is that is originally being offered by the supplier or the seller. Out of that, you need to take out your trade discount or if it's a bulk discount, whatever, whichever case that may be. So the initial amount minus the trade discount or the bulk discount will give you what we call the net, the net amount, okay? And on the net amount, you need to calculate your VAT. And, um, after calculating the VAT, you add the VAT on top of the net, 
to give you the total amount that is charged on the invoice. Okay. Um, with the settlement discount, basically, we do not need to deduct it from the initial amount. We only need to take account of the settlement discount when we are working on the VAT. Okay, so if you note that, okay, we'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Okay, but remember, initial amount minus your trade discount will give you the net. And on top of that, you add your VAT. Okay, and I'm going to demonstrate that in this example on this page. In example one, um, it says here you supply goods price at £159.50 to a customer at a trade discount of 30%. What would you what 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 would the total invoice amount be? Assuming a VAT rate of 20% and of that discount. So in this particular scenario, um we been given an amount of 159 pounds and 50 pence, which is the initial amount that the seller is selling the goods, okay? And this seller is offering a trade discount. In this particular case, there's a trade discount here, okay? It's not a bulk discount, but a, a trade discount, okay? And um, that is 30%. If you look at the workings here, the initial amount of 159 and 50 pence, out of that, we take away the trade discount of 30%. That 30% must be worked on the initial amount. So that will give us 100, sorry, that will give us 47 pounds and 85 pence, okay? So when we deduct that from the initial amount, that gives us 111 pounds, 65 pence. So 111 pounds, and 65 pence is a net amount but that net amount is the seller's price that's the price that we are charging okay and on top of that since we are registered for VAT we need to basically calculate the VAT on the net amount Add it to the net to give us the total invoice price. Okay. Now you can see here the total invoice price is 133 pounds and 98 pence. The net amount is the seller's money. The VAT is the government's money. Okay. And both of them added together give you the gross of 13398. So let's go through these steps here one by one just to um, uh, go over what I just said. Step one is we you need to calculate the initial amount, which is the total price before the discount. In this particular scenario, we've been given that, which is 159, point, uh, 159 pounds and 50 pence, okay? Um, out of that, you, you take away your trade discount. That discount is usually given it in a percentage, okay? Okay, and um, basically, in this particular percentage is 30% of 159, that gives you 47 pounds 85 pence. Now, step three is that you calculate your net price before the VAT, okay? And the net price is the initial amount. Minus the VAT, and that gives you the net, which is extended here in red. Okay. You go on to the next step to calculate your VAT of 20%. VAT standard rate of 20% on the net price is £22.33. Then finally, you add the VAT to the net to give you the, 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 the amount that is going to be invoiced, a gross amount to be invoiced. Okay, and this amount of 133, 